Here we have the Podex 3 Live standard compressor. Now it's a pretty simple configuration, pretty normal threshold gain, and as you know, threshold is the level at which the compressor will let the audio pass before it tames it back down. So let's have you play real quick, Josh. Now I'm going to adjust the threshold as Josh plays. Now I'm going to go up to my noise gate and adjust the threshold and decay there. Now you notice it's off right now. I can switch that either by going back to my chain or hitting the on-off switch to turn it on. Now it's on. Josh, go ahead and play. Now let's give you some gain so we can actually hear the difference. So I'm going to go over to my stomp box, add some distortion, get out of the filters, just add this facial fuzz and play again, Josh. There we go, we've got some more gain on there, so I'm going to go back to my compressor and go up to my noise gate. Play again, Josh. You'll notice right now it's at zero decibels, if I take it down to negative 14, a little more of that guitar gets through. The further I take it, more and more of the signal gets through. Now you can hear all the signal after he's done playing, but if I bring it up, you only hear the notes he's playing. Now I can also adjust the parametric EQ that's on here. It gives me low gain, low mid gain, high mid gain, and high gain. The really cool thing about this effects processor is I can actually adjust what frequency these are on. So right now this is at 100, but I can take that to a different frequency. Now let's see what happens. Josh, go ahead and play. back down. Hear that? I'm actually sweeping the filter throughout the whole range of the high mids and the whole range of the highs here. So Josh, go ahead and play. You can actually hear that sweeping. And again, we have our volume controls, our pedal controls. If I go up in my parameters, I can go up to reverb here. You notice I can set it to pre-configure, post-configure. In most cases, you want your reverb to be post-config, but sometimes you don't. Right now, it's at small room. I'm going to take it back to Lux Spring, the first in the series of reverbs. I'm going to have Josh play to demonstrate. Pretty nice tone. Move on to our next. Standard spring. King spring. Small room. Tiled room. Now again, one thing you'll notice is that I'm adjusting the volume throughout this whole video because each reverb creates a different level of gain coming out. It's one thing I've noticed on the Pod X3 Live that is a bit of a problem. Now a bright room. Dark hall. Large hall. A rich chamber. Chamber. Cavern.
flat plate. Vintage plate. Large plate. And that's it for the reverb. So take a look at the other videos we produced on the Podix 3 Live to get a view of some of the other effects. But for now, I'm Bill Holland, and this is GearWire.com.